you're something else. And, and this is what I'll, what I'll end with, because sometimes when we chase dreams, especially in this town, we chase them to get people to tell us we have value or that we matter or that we're worth something. And sometimes in this town, we chase them for fame. This is kind of a fame town. And that, that was something I struggled with. And I think fame is the worst drug in Christianity right now. I think it's just wrecking so many young students I see, so many young leaders. And you only need like two followers on Twitter to become a jerk. Like that was my threshold, a low jerk threshold. It's very low. I'm pretty accomplished that way. But one day I said, hey, God, I want my story to give me fame. I want my life to generate fame. And you know what he said back? Before I say that, I've only spoken here once before, so I don't know what phrase you guys use on campus to say God talked to you that makes you not look weird. Like, is it the Holy Spirit impressed on you, truth was shared? Like, whatever phrase makes me not look like a snake handler. If you could put that in your head while I finish that story, that would be incredibly helpful to me. Um, Because I don't handle snakes. I don't. So I said, God, I want fame. I want my story to give me fame. I felt like God laughed. Not at me, but with me. He said, fame? The creator of the universe knows your name. The Alpha and Omega, the entire galaxy knows who you are and what you care about. That's as famous as you're ever going to be. Whose acknowledgement of you is going to stand up next to mine? And and he's right. I'm already famous. I'm on stage right now in a room full of famous people. God follows you on Twitter. He's a Facebook fan page about you, and he like, like, likes. You're so famous, he sent his son for you. He sent a rescue mission for you. That's real fame. That's lasting fame. And as the world tries to tell us it's not, that, that culture tries to tell us, There's other sorts of things that are going to satisfy. There's not. In college, out of college, there's no girlfriend or boyfriend or husband or wife that's going to be able to satisfy that. There's no job. There's no dream outside of God that's going to satisfy that. I don't want you to miss that. I don't want you to miss that we have a God we will never outdream. You will never in your college career bring something to God and have him go, I mean, I'm big. I mean, I'm huge, like Grand Canyon, like with my breath big, but that thing, I... That's too big for me. I'm not a God that that's big. You'll never outdream God. And so that's my hope. I mean, I think your generation is 